Hello there, and welcome to the weekly asylum and immigration reform update, where I share with you five recent stories of interest to asylum seekers and those who want to stay current on immigration news. This week, we're discussing the scale of the exodus from Venezuela is breathtaking, as people have sought refuge throughout the Western Hemisphere. Texas is taking a cue from Florida and playing politics by shipping asylum seekers to Democratic strongholds elsewhere. Asylum seekers at the southern U.S. border can no longer apply for appointments at one of the designated locations. A poll shows that more Americans than you might have thought actually do support the right of people to seek asylum at the southern border, and a proposal is on the table in U.S. Congress to support Uyghurs fleeing China. I'm Brian Manning, and I used to be an asylum officer with the government, but now, as an asylum lawyer, I help immigrants all over the country to secure their future in America through asylum. It's my pleasure to bring you asylum and immigration reform updates each week right here on the Political Asylum Lawyers YouTube channel. Okay, let's get to the news. First up, the scale of Venezuelans seeking refuge from the dictatorial rule of President Nicolas Maduro is astounding. In 2022, there was a remarkable 186% increase in Venezuelan asylum applications, reaching 264,000. This contributed to the largest refugee exodus ever observed in the Americas, as reported by the United Nations Refugee Agency. Latin America and the Caribbean accounted for over 40% of global asylum seekers, with 5.45 million Venezuelans requiring international protection. Additionally, significant numbers of asylum seekers originated from Cuba, Nicaragua, Colombia, Honduras, and Haiti. Most individuals stayed within the region, with the United States, Costa Rica, and Mexico receiving the highest number of asylum requests. Despite efforts to expedite asylum processing in 2022, the backlog of applications grew due to the sheer volume. To address this, the Biden administration introduced a regulation that could potentially deny asylum to many migrants crossing the border unlawfully. They urged the utilization of legal pathways, including a mobile application called CBP-1. And next up for update number two, Texas Governor Greg Abbott has sent a busload of migrants to Los Angeles, a move seen as targeting Democrat-run cities. Abbott asserted that small Texas border towns are overwhelmed due to President Biden's inadequate border security and mentioned LA's sanctuary status. LA's mayor criticized Abbott's move as using people as pawns in political games. The arrival of the migrants, who were later taken to a church by a human rights organization, didn't catch LA authorities off guard as they had prepared for such a situation. Abbott has been criticized for similar actions in the past. LA's mayor vowed to continue prioritizing people's health and well-being over politics amid reports suggesting that border crossings are at their lowest since President Biden assumed office. All right, time for our third immigration update. Following reports of extortion faced by migrants in Mexico, the online application for scheduling asylum appointments at the dangerous Texas-Mexico border crossing in Laredo is no longer available. Without providing an explanation, the CBP-1 app removed the option to schedule appointments in Laredo. This change disrupts the border system established by President Biden after the lifting of COVID-related restrictions, which aim to provide legal avenues for seeking asylum, including scheduling appointments through the app. Critics argue that migrants should not be forced to wait in perilous conditions in Mexico, particularly considering the overwhelming demand exceeding the 1,250 daily appointments available through CBP-1. Criminal organizations in Nuevo Laredo extort migrants, demanding payments for safe passage. In recent years, numerous violent attacks against migrants have been documented along the border. And moving right along, update number four. A recent poll indicates that a majority of likely U.S. voters support access to asylum at the U.S. southern border. The poll was conducted one week after the lifting of the pandemic-era restriction known as Title 42 and revealed strong support, particularly among Democrats, young Americans, and Black Americans. Independents also expressed support for border asylum access, while only approximately one-third of Republicans supported it. These poll results suggest that critics of asylum policies do not represent the mainstream opinion in the United States, highlighting the value of a compassionate approach to asylum as both sound policy and politics. The poll also indicated that 71% of likely voters support the U.S. refugee resettlement program. And finally, our fifth immigration update for this week. In the U.S. Congress, a bipartisan bill has been introduced proposing priority refugee status for Uyghurs escaping persecution in China. If passed, the Uyghur Human Rights Protection Act would fast-track the asylum applications of Uyghurs and other persecuted ethnic groups by designating them as priority two. The bill enjoys support from both Democrats and Republicans and also aims to safeguard Uyghur refugees in countries other than the United States, considering China's pressure to extradite them. 
This legislative initiative follows calls from Uyghur rights groups for global action against China's human rights abuses, including allegations of genocide. It is seen as a crucial, albeit overdue, step in addressing the plight of the Uyghurs and mirrors a similar effort in Canada. And that wraps up this week's immigration news. If you want to win asylum in the United States, then you should call my office today. That number is 713-352-352. 1593. We help people all over the country, so it doesn't matter where you are. Call us now to schedule an asylum strategy session so that we can help you secure your future in America through asylum. Again, I'm Brian Manning, and it's an honor to serve you in your immigration journey.